studio got released publicly and so right here is a blog about firebase studio and it's a full stack ai apps backend with firebase gemini and other features yeah so firebase is basically the server service and gemini is ai service and it supports other front-end tools such as Flutter, Angular, and others. It also supports Android Studio, which we have a separate blog. They call it Android Studio Cloud. So there it is. Android Studio Cloud. Basically, it's a linux emulator specifically ubuntu which runs android studio ide and our firebase studio so to get started you will go to firebase studio which is studio.firebase.google.com and you can create a new project by once you open the link, it will bring you to your dashboard. Then you search for the Android Studio. There it is. They call it Android Studio Cloud. Click it, then create a new project. Let me do it in the dummy project as we proceed to preview how it goes. I'll call it dummy app. Then I'll hit create. So it's super fast. I'll close this and I'll add the links in the descriptions. So let me open dashboard. While this is initializing, you can see It's an emulator. It's like we are streaming Linux. We are streaming Linux Ubuntu. So currently it's requesting us for permission to see text and images copied to the clipboard, which you should allow. Then as always a good practice, visually send statistics to improve the product. And this is how it looks. There we have Android Studio. What else do we have in the box? Currently, all the other navigations, I mean customizations for Ubuntu, specifically Genome, has been minimum, minimized. Like the taskbar on my end, this is my native Ubuntu. We have it right there. But on this virtual emulator, this emulator, we only have activities. I think it's called activities menu. So when you click it, you can view the task taskbar and other apps as well. Currently, it doesn't feel much it doesn't feel much real time yeah it's streaming and it should work that way based on current state so let's go to android studio i'll open the dummy project i cloned oh i saw something so this is opening it will open the same way this opened but i used it to illustrate how you create a new workspace I have this workspace I cloned it is now in Android app there we have it it has opened
so it's a little bit not real time and there is there are factors to consider it might be your internet connection as well basically this is streaming so let me go back to the warning message i just saw in my dashboard you are near the limit of 10 work spaces upgrade to premium to have more let's see what it does takes you to google for developers plans and pricing and there we are so my current plan is standard free no cost and for premium that's the price you pay 2.99 per year and you have all other features which i'll add the links in the description or pause the video to see the details for short so let's go back so that means inside firebase studio you have a limit of 10 workspaces and yeah it would be wise let's say to use one you can use one workspace because this is emulated linux And currently it doesn't feel real time like there is a delay basically due to network and streaming in future it's more likely to improve it doesn't feel real time okay it doesn't feel time okay i can't say it's good it's good it's okay usable but you have to get used to it so if you have a limit like that maybe you can create a workspace give it a name you like then inside that workspace let me close this one we don't you we are not using it uh, you can decide to close project or view recent project so what i'll basically do let's see there we have it i'll select a recent project then open in new window okay i was hitting super the super button so it takes a little bit of time to get used to it so i have current currently i have two projects open i'll use the activities button to navigate around i'll also run the app initially setting up 100 project it usually takes time most likely six minutes and it will also take time to get used to shorter shortcuts because right now i'm using native ubuntu shortcuts which are not reflecting on this side which is okay it's emulated i'll only use that for navigation for now you can also open a browser and it also has good nice speed so basically this is linux ubuntu being streamed as a virtual device which you can interact like with it as if it were your own desktop pc and good thing we also have fast internet speed which i find it useful okay i'll type it manually it's not i don't know what's going wrong okay not working as expected i'll go ahead and minimize first it's not opening not clicking either let me close and reopen
okay we have this widget so the first widget shows extra key and this the super key it doesn't feel real time as you all can see and as, as i said it also depends with your internet connection so i'll stick using this one click super reopen chrome i'll minimize type okay something's off like it's not real time but it works it works well depending on your case use case still not responsive so i'll go back to our original project the now in android app which i cloned currently not responsive think something's off somewhere okay let's wait for that to take effect and see what's next we also have the clipboard we have the maximize button and we have settings which i recommend not to do anything with it if you do not know what you're doing with it okay you also have disconnect which i will not click it it's like a switch off button i'll just minimize then get back to android studio so currently it feels like it has frozen let me close this workspace at some point it makes you feel like you are the one once you maximize it makes you feel like this is your desktop real life desktop not responding and since it's a linux emulated device uh, what i'll basically do i'll come to task manager sunder tasks task 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 okay it's called system monitor then under processes i will close everything okay not working not working as expected so that's it and what i could say is i would rather stick to my native pc for now because when it when we consider productivity it's not yet ready this is not yet ready but it's promising so what i want to do is i'm trying to close these processes the same way I would have done in my native PC. Back here, still not responding. So that's the shortest review of Net of Android Studio in Firebase Cloud. It is promising, usable, but not production ready when we consider productivity that's the main goal productivity it's what we should consider 
and as a matter of fact it also depend depends with their internet connection speeds so if your internet connection speed is slow expect it to be slow as well because this is an emulated environment if it's fast you're likely to experience a smooth user experience and yeah at first it might not feel realistic but love to adopt to the new setup okay so what i'll do i'll see what this button does disconnected then let me reconnect you are back to it but not responsive as expected let me go back to processes and kill the tasks studio then I'll hit control K which kills the processes kill but still not responding let me kill that as well control K not responsive and let's see our internet speed so long Okay, we have killed all the processes and right now it feels a little bit responsive. It may seem like there is a memory constraint to it, which feels a little bit odd. Let's check our system. Then under resources, as you as you can observe we have 64 gigs roughly 64 gigs of ram with 16 threads let's go to a new desktop then open okay i confused with the native super key i'll click there then open android studio manually very fast and responsive yeah so those are some of the challenges you expect with the pre-release version of android studio cloud it's a little bit not super responsive but usable and it's promising that's all catch you in the next one peace